Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on Nixus Gaming. We're here in our lovely modded world for hopefully the finale of Blood Magic here. Now, I wanted to end it off last time, but as you all know if you've watched this far, Demon Will is just too damn complicated for me to understand. It's so damn complicated that I didn't even realize that all of this basically just goes in the order of what you need to do. So that's what we're going to work on today. E! Uh, that's what we're going to work on today. But a few things. I don't know how long this will take, so I'm going to pad it a little bit. I want to show you guys what I've been doing. I think you already saw all the astral sorcery stuff. And the botania stuff here. Sorry, slight pause there. Um... This here is the new mystical agriculture room. Uh, as you can see when you walk in, I have one botany pot for every mystical agriculture plant. Now, botany pots are really cool. Let me show you how they work. I have magical soil in all of them because that's what grows stuff the fastest. But basically, I come up, if I want some, if I want some wood... I just right click harvest and it automatically starts growing a new one. You see this one takes about 10 seconds to grow. Uh, we get a seed from it. I think that's just an extra. Just going to pop that in there. Grab some extra essence from it. And oh it's back and it's ready to harvest again. Really nice. And uh, of course the higher tier crops do take longer to harvest. But say if we go to a uh, good old... All the modium, because that's what we have the least of out of these last three. It takes about a minute and nine seconds to fully grow. Now, the problem with doing it this way is there is no way for me to grow these any faster, and I have to manually harvest them, uh, which kind of sucks at the moment. It means I am very limited in my essences, because if you hadn't noticed, I've started tearing down this whole farm here. I'm getting rid of the farm, and we are just using these. I even have, like, nine more pots just for Inferium to grow over here. But see, what I haven't done yet is you can upgrade these botany pots into hopper botany pots, which will automatically harvest... And put the items in the chest below. That's why there's a chest below every one. And let's see. I can look that up. Hopper botany pot. You either need an omnidirectional hopper with circuit boards and very tech stuff that I don't have. Or I can use botania stuff. I just need a ton of hopper hawks. And Terra Steel, so that's what I'm going to be working on after I tear down the farm. Hopefully it'll be all set up and ready by the time we do the next mod over here. But yeah, that's the idea, that's the plan. Once I get all this done, I'm going to throw in Twilight Forest, like right here. It's going to look pretty swish when we move on to the next mod. Alright, so on to the real business though. We got Blood Magic. Now, before the episode started, I went around with my sentient sword a little bit, and I filled up this common Tartaric gem, because from what I've read, we want a Tartaric gem with at least 1,024 will in it, in order to do this the quicker way. And that's exactly how much this thing can hold. So without ado, let's go ahead and start. We've already done this. This was the first will we gathered, blah 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 Crystallizing the will is what we're working on now. Last time, we made the demon crucible. Very nice. We need to make the demon crystallizer now. Which we need to make another hellfire forge, stone, lapis, and glass. And throw our tartaric gem in it. So let's go ahead and grab some of that stuff. Uh, let's see. Polished andesite should work. Um, slight problem. I tore down my magic tower here too when I did that. I was going to move it. But I don't know what I did with the contents. What I did with the lapis that was up there because I need that lapis. I didn't throw it in here. 
That is sort of concerning. As I said, I do need that lapis. Well, now that's really concerning because that's also my enchanting table and everything else. I think I put it in a chest. Oh, I put it over here. Okay. All right, we got the lapis. Just one piece. We need glass, and then we need to make a hellfire forge. How do we make that again? Because we need a second one. Two iron, a blank slate, soapstone, block of iron. Basically, we need four more pieces of stone. I don't think smooth stone works. I think I found that much out. Uh, granite should work. Piece of glass. We want two iron bars, ingots, and then a block of iron. And let's go make a blank slate. Hopefully this granite will work. This far into the mod, and I still don't understand what stone works and what stone doesn't work. Also, just uh, real quick, our blood altar is a little empty, and now it's full. Lovely. Ah, uh, that is working. Um, oh, no. I, that's all I need. Just the blank one. All right. So, let us start crafting. I believe these were on the sides. These were up top. That was in the middle, and that was on bottom. Got a Hellfire Forge, and we take this. And do we craft it in another Hellfire Forge? Yeah, we craft it in another Hellfire Forge. Boom, 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 and boom. Throw that in. Let's get in crafting. I'm going to need to refill this thing that's going to use some of it. Used about 100, but we have our Demon Crystallizer now. I think also we're going to want to move the Hellfire Forge over here as well. Have all of our Demon Will stuff on this side. I'm not going to put this down yet because there's something else we want to do before we before we put that down. Also, I forgot. I was going to plant this Tau Fruit around the altar here to see if it would boost tranquility a little bit. Did I... I didn't even grab that. Uh, where do I want to place it? I guess right here. Is that boosting at all? 921? What was it before? Uh, somehow putting down the Tau Fruit lowered it? That's a little strange. Oh no, I'm. It, it's fine, it's fine. It's staying at 932. Well, I don't think it's raising or lowering, but hey, it would be nice to grow this somewhere, right? Probably want some water for it. Right, I got rid of the river there. Need to come all the way over here for it. Uh, let's put down some water. Maybe... Let's just put it here at the edge, I guess. I want that to show dirt. I know that will boost it up a little bit. Or at least it should. Yeah, 1,028 just for throwing water in? You're insane. Okay. The water should reach out that far. I think it's four blocks out. Two, three, four. And then we'll just kind of square this off here. And plant down all this tau fruit. And we might as well do that on all four sides. I don't think we have enough fruit to do it on all four sides, but we have some right now that we can go ahead and do it on two of them at least. Might be better to move the water in one so we can actually use all this space. That's what I'm going to do. Right about there. Go ahead and put that back down, move that, and place that. 
Okay. Yeah, see, now the water should actually reach all the way over here. So we can use all this land for Tau Fruit. Efficiently, I think you actually want to have a variety of stuff planted around the Tranquility Altar. But I think we're fine. As is, we can fill the Blood Altar with one, one good old stab anyway. So this is more than enough. I think since we added another bit of water... Yeah, 1143. Hell yeah. Alrighty. It's just a really good spot to actually farm this stuff, you know? Okay, that's good for now. That should all produce nicely. Now back to the actual project at hand. As I was saying... We want to make sure all of this stuff is near each other. We don't want to put this down yet, but we'll have it ready. Uh, more specifically, we want to make sure it's all in the same chunk. So this is the area we're working in. We can't move past this block here. In fact, I'm going to keep the chunk borders on while I work this out. Uh, let's see. We need to do a ritual, though. Let's see, we've done that. We made the crystallizer, blah, blah, blah. We want to set up this here for the aspects of will, which we need to make the resonance of the faceted crystal. We need 20 total runes, the master rune, and our activation crystal for it. Let's see, bada bing, bada boom, you and you. Okay. So again, as long as it's in this chunk border, it should be good. I want to actually look. So the the master rune itself is like raised one up. So we'll do it that way. How many out is it? It's two out to the edge. So yeah, that should be perfect right there. Place that down. Uh, where? There it is. We need the... The this, this something. I'll recognize it when we get to it. That one, right? Resonance of the Faceted Crystal. It should be building nicely now. It's a little hollow inside, but the idea... is that we want to place this crystallizer on top of it there. I think the book will even, it won't show us there, but it shows us there. See, it's on top. So now, before we do anything else, before we activate that, we want to take our Tartaric Gem and put it in here. What this is now doing is it is draining Demon Will from the Tartaric Gem and putting it into the atmosphere of this chunk. Just this chunk, though. Nowhere beyond these borders is getting Demon Will. And it should drain about 100 or so, so 824 should be left. Yeah, 824. 100 is the max amount of Will you can have in any chunk, okay? So now... We want to we wanna get it into the crystallizer. Oh, it looks like it's actually already growing, if that makes sense. I don't think that was there before. Hold on, let me just double check to make sure. So yeah, this pumps it into the chunk. This slowly consumes demon will from the aura to produce will crystals. The first spire costs 100 will to form, and all subsequent spires cost 45 each. But can be burned for 50 in the Demon Crucible, blah 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 blah. If you have more than 1,024 total will in your inventory across any number of Tartaric Gems, you can harvest these crystals by right-clicking the spire with your right hand. I actually, oh my god, it is growing. Growth 0%. Should I be pumping more in? 
I mean, I already put 100 in, so it should fully grow from that, ideally. I think we're gonna, you know what, we're, we're gonna let that do its thing. We'll take a short trip over here and start killing stuff to refill our gem a little bit. In case we need it. I thought I saw a spider over here. I guess not. A big group of monsters here. This works perfectly. How are we looking? That's already back at 892. Hell yeah. Hey, don't kill each other. Kill me. Or pay attention to me. This is basically all I went around doing before the episode began. Just killing monsters in this field here until it filled up. We're already at 949, so great progress so far. See a skeleton over here. And this guy. Oh, he doesn't die in one hit. All right, we should be about full. We got 1,013. Come on, we're like right there. That's 1,024. We are full again. Also full on our inventory from a bunch of crap here. Let's uh, just get rid of pretty much all of this extra stuff we picked up. I don't want it yet. And let's go see how our crystal here is doing. Uh, it still shows 0%. So let's see. What, what's going on here? Costs 100 will to form. And all subsequent spires cost 45. The largest crystal cluster can be up to seven spires. So maybe this is just the initial form. And now I need to put more in to let it grow more, if that makes sense. I think we want this thing fully grown. I think. I'm really not sure. Is this draining? Uh, it is draining. It actually, it drained more than 100. So that means it put more than 100 into the atmosphere, which it can't do, which means this is taking some, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. It's not taking much more now. I think the idea is we should just kind of keep an eye on this and watch it. I don't know if we should do the ritual now. I mean, it says we can harvest the whole thing right now, but that gets rid of the whole thing. And then this bit won't be true. We'll be costing 100 will just to make another one. So I think the idea is to just let it grow as much as it can. We can make catalysts in order to speed it up. But that needs actual crystals already. So there's no use in doing that right now, you know? Um, let's see. This is the ritual we want to do. We have the crystal cluster. Uh, da, 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 da. It's just saying what it is. I mean, should we just go for it? Go for the go for the ritual? That doesn't look like it's much more grown than the one we have, so I think we go for the ritual. We also need our blood orb though, which probably doesn't have enough life essence in it for us to actually do the ritual. Did I throw my activation crystal on the ground over here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. It's right there. Let's not do that. We kind of need that. Okay. 
Oh, good. I'm glad I noticed that. Yeah, so this still shows 0%. So let's go ahead. That, that did something. But it didn't do anything. Little weird. Maybe I do need to let it grow a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Resonance of the faceted aspect or what? Crystal. Yeah, that's the thing. Pulls apart a well-grown raw crystal cluster. A well-grown one. Okay. Takes a well-grown at least five spires. So this does need to grow more. It does. Okay. How do we grow it more faster? Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. All subsequent spires cost 45 each, but can be burned for 50 in the Demon Crucible for net gain of 5, blah, 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 blah. This isn't telling me how to actually grow it faster. It's still at 0%. As far as I can tell, this is definitely using more will. Well, okay, let's do the math. It went down to 924. 45 more, right? Yeah, 45. So 924 minus 45, that's 919. 909, 899, 898. If this is at 898, no, 889, then that should be enough to get this another spire, if my math is right. But it hasn't. It's definitely still consuming. Oh, oh, it has another spire. Growth 16. Okay. So yeah, that's all it is. We just got to keep putting more demon will into the atmosphere. Which we might be able to do faster at this stage if we had another demon crucible. I don't know if that's really worth it though. I mean, I wouldn't think that would be worth it at this stage. We just need this to grow. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here... And I'm going to come back whenever that has five spires. Or maybe when it just has all seven, so I can at least show that off. We'll see, but I'll be right back. So I was just standing here reading my book, looking at blood magic stuff. And um, the last I looked at it, it was at four spires total. Including the center one, and then I suddenly looked back, and uh, the ritual just went off, and it split it into four clusters. So I kind of missed that part. I don't know if it did anything special. But now, we've split this crystallized raw demon will into corrosive for earth, steadfast for water, destructive for for wind. I might have earth and wind switched around, I don't know. And vengeful for fire. Now, as far as I know, these will not grow. Because they are not on the crystallizer collecting anything from the atmosphere. They are just here ready to be harvested. So we might as well do so. We now have four different aspected will crystals here. And there's a few things we can do with that. First off, though, um, no, no, we'll need that. I think the first thing we want to do is make our, our greater Tartaric gem. We need a blood shard, a common one, a demonic slate, and 
any will crystal will do. I need to remember, how do I make this? It's like a... It's a saturated tau into the sanguine reverter. Is that really it? Okay, that's not bad at all. Let's just uh, pop that baby in, get that working. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's line up the stuff we'll need. I don't think it'll matter too much which ones we use. But, like, also... I think we're gonna want five of these. I think so. I think we're gonna want five greater Tartaric gems. They don't have to all be greater. You probably just want one as greater. But me... I'm going to make all five of them greater Tartaric gems. And you'll see why whenever we get to that point. So I'm going to make five of these. That also means we're going to need more crystals here to finish up. So that might be another pause while I just wait for it to grow. All right, so we got five of those. We'll need five demonic slates. Which is going to be quite a lot of blood. Let's see how fast we can make them, though. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Oh, it's going. It takes a slight pause, but look at that. Oh my god. I love this new blood altar. I think that's a demonic slate right there already. My god. We need five of these things. Um, What else? What else? We got our common gem. That's going to suck a little bit, actually. We're going to need to remake them from the beginning. Yikes. That's actually going to be a little bit rough. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, 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 I think. Oh my god, it ran out. Um, Crap. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, my bad. It uses it a lot faster. <laughs> um, let's put... I don't need this out anymore, actually. Let's put that into our tool belt. And then... Do, 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 we'll slide that there. Put that in. And I don't know if we can eat fast enough and heal fast enough for this to uh for us to keep up with this. That's how fast it's going now. Oh my god, look at it drain. That's amazing. Let's uh wait for it to run out and then we'll we'll cut ourselves again. Give us a chance to get some food back. There we go. Alright, we need one more. I think that's enough blood in there to go ahead and make one more, but just in case, let me eat up and be ready to fill it back up again. Man, I didn't think that would be the issue with this, not being able to heal fast enough. That's amazing. Okay. So, we make these at the Hellfire Forge. I don't know how much will we need in ours in order to get it working, but let's go ahead and plop what we need in. Like that. Yeah, we need, we need more. Uh, it tells us, right? Minimum 1,000. Sheesh. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to go kill some things, and I will be right back. Alright, and we have 1019 will set in here, so as soon as we plop this in, it is getting to work, and we'll have our greater Tartaric gem. And it doesn't even use all the will, which is really nice. Oh, hold on. I've definitely been killing stuff, so um, let me plop out a good bit of this. Uh, not that one. These. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that cobble. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
All right, so we still have those if we want to make more, but more importantly, we do have our greater Tartaric gem. Now, I wanted to make four more of these, but I think for now, just to keep things moving, because I realize now I have to make, like, every stage to make the next one, just to keep things moving, we're going to move on to the next stuff. So... I think the next thing we want to make is a Demon Will Aura Gauge. When we craft this, this is going to basically tell us how much Demon Will is in the atmosphere, what kind is it, and yeah. So it's also like, it's not just 100 maximum that we can have, it's 100 maximum for each. We can fill this chunk with every type of Demon Will if we want. And this gauge is going to basically tell us the the makeup of it so we need gold redstone a will crystal and glass and a minimum of 400 will so we got that let's go and get it gold redstone and glass right bada bing bada boom there we go all right back over here i missed a little bit that's fine Boom, 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 and boom. Sorry. Confused myself a little bit. We're good. And we now have a Demon Will Aura Gauge. While this is in our inventory, we now have that in the upper left of our screen. And you'll see that it is empty. We can shift. It says zero by it all. But what if we want to throw more in the atmosphere? We'll put that in. And it instantly filled it up to 100 of this raw demon will right there which is very very nice we have an idea now of what is where so next up we can't be um ea sports yeah uh we can't just be getting the the special demon crystals this way the whole time right this takes a lot of life essence to activate this and it takes a while to grow this you see that it's already grown another spire there, which is nice. But, like, it, it takes forever. So there's another way to do it. And I think we might put it in this chunk one over. We'll have this focus on raw demon will and this focus on all the special stuff, if that makes sense. But basically, what we need to do is it in demon will aspects... Uh, yes. No, no, it's not. It's not in crystallized, definitely. Demon Will Aura? No. I don't think it's in Will... Ca it is in Will Catalyst. Okay. Well, then. Basically, we want four of each. Of all of these. Four of each. And what that'll do, that'll get us a crystal cluster that we can just place down in the world. And stuff will grow off of that. Sort of like this guy here. But, like, without this. So I guess once we get the crystal clusters, we don't even need this setup anymore. Is what I'm hearing. I mean, I would like to keep the crystallizer and this just because it looks good, you know? Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll still do that. We'll keep this set up for the raw stuff, and we'll just put the special ones over here. See, I didn't realize there was a raw crystal cluster you could make, so that makes more sense. But basically, you put these guys down, and eventually new spires will grow just like clusters on top of a demon crystallizer. Of course, you have to supply the chunk with the will of the matching type, so we might need to make another one of these to burn over in this chunk, and... That's fine, I guess. Maybe I should just do it all in one chunk. I'm confusing myself, okay? I'm definitely confusing myself on how I want to do this. We'll put them in this chunk. Keep it all in one chunk, I guess. Yeah. But before we even do that, we of course need... We of course need four of each crystal type, which means we do gotta stick with this bad boy. For a while, just like four more times to get the two we need, and then we should be good. So, no use in making you guys wait through that. I'll do it on my own, and I'll come back when it's done.
You know what? While we're waiting, though, there is actually another thing I wanted to make here. I want to make the sigil of holding. Basically, what this does, and it, it says it holds up to five other sigils at a time. But I think it should also hold a Tartaric gem. If I read something else right. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Pretty sure I read it somewhere that that thing can hold Tartaric gems. It can hold five things at once, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can equip Tartaric gems as a necklace. Wear more curios at once. Consider using a sigil of holding. Oh, that might... No, or the sock. I, I'm pretty sure it will work. I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and make that. Uh, do, do That's an alchemy array. Sigil. Sigil of holding. We're going to need holding reagent. We need a chest, leather, and two string for it. This is just something we can work on while all of that's growing, you know? Uh, so a chest leather and two string we get to use the alchemy table which we haven't really used in a while kind of got put on the back burner we need to throw that in throw those that and that does that need to move there yeah it does they need to be in separate slots even though they're the same thing do 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 that should get us the holding reagent. And now all we gotta do is... We need an imbued slate. Hold on. That's important too. Our Tau is growing nicely. Let's throw that in. Uh, an imbued slate is the third stage, I believe. One more. There we go. Okay. And then we need our arcane ashes. We can do this anywhere. Let's just put it there. Holding reagent. Imbued slate. Let that do its thing. It do indeed be doing its thing. We got a sigil of holding. Oh, look at that. It gives us like five more slots over there. How do I... How do I cycle through over there? Uh, press brackets while holding the sigil to open its inventory. Press bracket to cycle forward or bracket to cycle backwards holding left shift. Um, that, that, that said brackets, right? Oh, I just right clicked and it... Oh, okay. It's the scroll wheel. That makes sense. While holding left shift. Okay, that's that's interesting. Now, how do I actually... Press not bound to modify. Okay. Um, so, I need to bind this to a key. Which means I gotta go through this lovely... Blood magic. Okay. Uh, open sigil of holding. I gotta be careful and use a key that's not being used. Um, that one? Yeah, that one. There we go. Okay. And now, well, I, I guess I want to test it on this thing over here. How's this going? Ooh, it's about to grow. It's about to split. All right. So I need to be hovered over it to even use it, but can I... I can't. I can't put the Tartaric gems in there. That's not what I wanted it for. That is a little upsetting. So it probably can only hold other sigils then. Like this seeing sigil we have. Yeah. I mean, that is a little bit upsetting. There were other sigils that I wanted to make, but they were more just, like, fun stuff, I guess. Like the, um, the void sigil. No, not the void one. The water. No. Water probably wouldn't be bad to have, though. 
su suppression, yeah, because I thought it'd be cool to just walk through water and obliviate all of it around me. <laughs> it sounds really cool. It's like parting the Red Sea. But really, the rest of the sigils I'd want to make are just for fun, you know? So I... I don't know if I really want to do that right now. It was worth a try, all right? It was worth a try. I mean, the other way we could do it is um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it mentioned the socketed upgrade. To wear tartaric gems as a necklace. All that means is, like, if I want to, I can come in here. Uh, it doesn't even have to be in the necklace slot. It can go anywhere, I guess. It can go in the necklace slot or whatever this one is. But you can just wear them like that if you want to. And I don't think I really want to. So the only other way to do it would be to add the socketed upgrade to this. Which we already have a bunch of upgrades we want to do to that. So, basically what I'm saying is everything I just did was a little bit of a bust. Now, is this going to automatically do it? Or do I have to redo the ritual? That is a good question. I mean, I would like to see what happens when this actually splits. So I think I'm just going to sit here and keep recording. I'll cut this out until it grows another spire. If it grows another spire and doesn't split, then I have to reactivate the ritual. But I don't know if I do. And there we go. So nothing special. It just grows that last spire and then instantly splits off. So I did not miss anything when that happened. But hey, now we have two of some of them and still need three of the other two because we used them. But hey, it's it's working. It's a work in progress, okay? That's all it is. Um, how's this doing? I get the feeling we'll need to throw more in here, maybe? Because, like, this needs to grow four more spires three more times. So that's 12 times 45. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know, there might actually be just enough will in here to do that. Because 12 times 50 is 600, and there's over 600 in there. So if we just let that cook, then that'll get us all we need. Hell yeah. I am going to pause and let that do its thing. And while it is, I will likely be working on the other Tartar gems that I wanted to build. Uh, because I've already done it in the series. You've seen it. It's just going to be a lot of crafting and doing a thing. I need to make four of these petty tartaric gems in this Hellfire Forge over here. And then I need to upgrade those into lesser tartaric gems in the same Hellfire Forge. And then I need to upgrade those into common tartaric gems in the same Hellfire Forge. And then I need to upgrade those into greater tartaric gems in the Hellfire Forge. So it's a process that will bore you guys, so I'll just do that while I'm waiting on this, and we'll be back, hopefully, with it all done. This took so long to do. I messed up. So we had this in here that had just enough in it, but I didn't realize that while I was making these, I would need more will. So what I did was I took this and I put it over here so I could make more of these. And then I ran out of stuff for this to make that. And then I needed to get more for this. And I realized that you get Will really slowly when you don't already have Will built up. It's one of those things like if you have one Will, you're only going to get one Will per kill. If you have a thousand Will, you're going to get closer to like 20 Will per kill, you know? And... It was a whole process, but I crafted these, and then I had some left over that I could just wait on these, and now we can get the last of these that we need 
And we don't have to worry about this thing just splitting anymore. In fact, I learned one thing. That if you accidentally break a block and place it back, that'll deactivate this. It will no longer split anything until you reactivate it with your crystal or whatever. So, so now we can just wait on this one to grow pure raw will. And we can take these. What do we even craft these in? We can take these to the Hellfire Forge, four of each, that we'll probably need more fucking will for. I need 1,200 will for each of these. More specifically, it's going to drain 100. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 will total. That I'm gonna need for this 1600 will total. And I have. Where did it equip? Where'd it go? Oh, did I throw it in here? Okay. I have 285. I gotta go get a lot more will. Fuck me. I'll be back. All right. After a full night. Minecraft night, of course, of killing mobs. I have just over 1,600. So let's throw that bad boy in. Uh, we got to space these out like so. That should form one crystal. Yep, a corrosive crystal cluster. And then we just keep going with the next one. This is going to make a vengeful crystal cluster. Let me get rid of all this crap. Let's throw it in the corner over here. There we go. All right, that's a vengeful. Get a steadfast one here. All right, and if I've done this right, I should have just enough to get the last one here. I actually have a hundred extra, I think. Well, no, because I was going to make a regular one, wasn't I? I think that was the deal. I was going to make a regular one, too. That's why I counted 1,600. But we don't really need the regular one. We just need these four. All right, so these can really go anywhere. Just know that you will probably want a Demon Crucible in the same chunk as they are. I think, honestly, I'm just going to line them up here. Maybe, maybe I move this. I want it to look nice wherever I put it, you know? Uh, we'll pick this up. Maybe we just one, two, three, four right there. We can put the crucible in the middle. Yeah, yeah, let's do it like that. Because at the end of the day, these are literally just shards that are going to grow more spires like that one there. So for this, we'll plop it down there. Why not? All right. So yeah, basically how these work is um, we have a destructive and a steadfast. So what we can do if... Hold on. So what we can do is uh, just, uh, if we want to grow, say, a Steadfast, we got to burn that will into the atmosphere. So we can grab our Steadfast will crystal, plop it in here, and you see up in the corner there, it's already burned away immediately. It's given us 49. It should have gave us 50. That means, yeah, it's slowly going down. It gave us 50 steadfast will in the atmosphere, and now this is slowly using that in order to grow more. We can do the same. We can throw in this destructive, and now this destructive one should be using that to grow. Just like that, now we can more easily grow all of these. There are ways to speed it up. And that's going to be in these raw will clusters here, or all of these clusters, actually. We just need some tau oil, nether wart, 
Uh, sulfur from blood magic will do, and one other thing. I actually, I, I don't know how to make sulfur, so let me wait for it to pop up again. There we go. Oh, sulfur is going to be something I don't think I've made yet, actually. Hmm. So we need netherrack in the alchemical reaction chamber with a lava bucket and either explosive powder or the primitive explosive cell, which seems to be not implemented yet. It's not listed on here, but that's what page it took me to. So we're going to have to use explosive powder, which I think was, yeah, just back here. We need coal, coal sand, which is coal, coal sand. Oh, it's two coal and a flint. So we need two coal, a flint, and two gunpowder. Then we can make this. It's a whole complicated thing i'm not gonna grow a bunch of this i just want to show you guys um let's see a flint two coal i have my blocks of coal in my inventory two coal and what was the other one two gunpowder right okay so let's show this off. You gotta come over here. And let's see, it was the two pieces of coal and a piece of flint. We need our blood orb in there. That should make us some coal sand. Coal sand or coal dust or something. There we go, coal sands. And then we needed to use this with two gunpowder in order to make explosive powder. Okay, so boom, boom, and boom. That's making that. And we needed to use that in this thing. We need a piece of netherrack and a lava bucket. I'm guessing the lava bucket is just like fuel for it. Uh, so let's see. I got plenty of netherrack. Got a bucket here. We can go to the nether real quick and just grab some lava. Oh, it's always fun going through this nether portal here. This place is an absolute mess. For those that don't know, I set off a bomb here, like, right outside the nether portal, and it was... Pretty big. It was a Botania mana weave bomb or mana storm bomb or something. Okay. So let's see. I think we want to take this out and put that in its place. I don't know. We need this here. How much do we need? Is 1,000 enough? I'm going to assume 1,000 is enough. We need nether racks somewhere up there. Then we put this somewhere. I would think this would go here, but I'm guessing the netherrack. No. Okay, so let's see. Explosive powder has uses to it, apparently. Oh, did we make the... We haven't made the explosive powder. That's... Wait, have we? No, we haven't made the explosive powder. My bad. Okay. So, wait, we did. Oh, we never picked it up. I'm just being an idiot. Okay. This goes there. And then that goes there. And it's working. That is filling up. I'm curious. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to use all 1,000. Uh, I didn't use any lava, apparently. We got sulfur now. That is how you make sulfur. Okay. I'm going to put that sanguine reverter back in because that's more useful. Uh, how are these doing? 
They are 0% grown. Okay. What did we need the sulfur for? Right, to make this. Um, Let's see. Which one do we want to make? We can go ahead and make a... I'm pretty sure we'd be able to use it on this. But I'd rather grow one of these, you know? So, let's see. We'll make the steadfast. Pumpkin seed, tau oil, nether wart, and the sulfur. At this point, there is no reason for me to really be doing this except for just showing you guys. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Uh, and nether wart. That's the other thing. Okay. We take these and we go back to the Hellfire Forge, which might need some more demon will. Good thing we still have 1,200. It doesn't use it all, thankfully. And there we go. That is making some catalysts. Now, what catalysts do is if you use them on a crystal of the same type, it will turbocharge its growth. It reduces the amount of will required to grow a spire from 45 to 25. Which I think, actually, we've already fed these 50? So I don't know why they haven't grown at all. That's a little weird. But I mean, basically, we can use this on that we douse it on there you got to shift right click apparently and now i don't know better way to do this until these are actually grown now that i think about it because we don't have anything to burn here now we just have regular will i guess when it comes down to it you can get these placed down but you still need to do this ritual more so you can burn it and get these growing, which really sucks, honestly. This is just a lot of work for a mod that isn't even finished. I get the feeling in the next version of this mod, when you actually go to the next tier, you do need to do all of this crap in order to actually do stuff. But for now, it's just... It's too much work, man. <laughs> I think I've proficiently shown how it's supposed to work. There's also some other rituals you can do. Let's see. They they set them somewhere. Um. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait. Was that it? I think that might have been it at the end. I don't even know what page that was. Yeah, yeah. These two. The crack of the fractured crystal which will break all demon will clusters of all aspects within its range and drop the results on top of the crystals. Now you can, of course, another thing you can do with these aspects once you got them is you can use that ritual tinkerer that I made a while back and you can actually tinker it to do different things. This one actually doesn't take a cluster though, but basically you can tinker it and have it to where a single crystal is broken off and spawn it into the world, I guess. And it won't break it if there's only one crystal. This basically guarantees that you don't have to regrow a whole new spire, I guess. But you can use that ritual in turn with resonance of the faceted crystal. Which... Oh, that's the one that we've already done. There's, there's another... Another ritual that it mentions somewhere, I know there is, that you can use. I don't know where it is. W was it Crack? No, it was Call of the Zephyr. With this one, you can use it to pick up the crystals that are broken off and place them in a linked chest. So you can automate all of this. But it still comes down to you have to do this ritual quite a few times in order to jumpstart these to actually start growing them. And you're gonna want to make a lot of the catalysts in order to speed up the growth because that also makes them more efficient so you get more. 
And it, it's a whole thing that's really not worth my time in doing. Like I said, I've showed it off. This is it for Blood Magic. Not a bad little setup. I enjoyed it. I would say up until this point here. And then I very quickly stopped enjoying it. I enjoyed putting the altar together. Uh, I enjoyed trying to min-max all the runes together, honestly. The armor was a really cool addition, so you can train it to other things. I feel like the Demon Realm can be expanded upon. Right now, it's literally just a four-room dungeon. There are some cool new crafting stations that you can use. A lot of cool items, is sigil-wise, and the arcane ashes, how they craft stuff is really cool. Overall, it's a really cool mod. And I enjoyed most of it until this point. But that's it for me. Thank you all for watching Blood Magic. As you know, after I finish a mod, I usually take a break before the next big Minecraft series. Next week, we are going back into Windcraft for an episode. And you guys know I oh so love Windcraft. That's not sarcastic. I actually love it. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you then. Bye bye Sorry. I kind of blew up there at the end because this is, I, I still feel the same. It's so much work, honestly, for no real reward at the end because the mod is unfinished. I've calmed down a little bit, but I wanted to come back and point out that uh, these things, they do change some ritual effects. I can probably bring up one now because the one I brought up didn't really show that. Uh, let's just pick one dawn of the new moon uh sure we can go that's not a good one either i know i saw it somewhere crash of the timbermen reap of the harvest moon i i'm not crazy guys some of these actually do change if you throw in yeah here we go it's like this one launches the player within its range in the direction of the ritual if you add a raw crystal, it increases the velocity. If you add a corrosive, it further increases horizontal velocity. Vengeful will prevent adult mobs and players from being transported. Destructive will prevent child mobs and players from being transported. So on and so forth. They do affect rituals. They also affect sentient tools and stuff good example the sentient sword this actually doesn't say it in here i think we got to go to the actual demon will aspects page for it to say that yeah so raw will will increase the damage corrosive attacks have a chance to apply poison or wither to your foes vengeful increases damage not as much as raw but it also increases attack speed so on and so forth so that's the other thing you can do with these. Again, not really worth it as I have a better sword. So I don't want to get into that. I don't do the rituals. Uh, but I really do want to explain why I got four of these. The idea was to start growing these. And you need a different Tartaric gem to store each of these different wills. So like this one is filled with raw will. And I would get one for Steadfast, one for Corrosive, one for Vengeful, and one for Destructive. And basically, when I'm using this Sentient Sword, it's going to pull from the Tartaric Gem that has the most will in it. So if I have a 1,000 Raw Will, but 2,000 Destructive Will, it's going to pull from the Destructive Will, basically. I felt the need to come back in and explain all that because I... It, Seems like I just sort of made these and didn't do anything with them. I made them. They had a purpose. I'm just so over this bit here of the mod. Not the rest. I like the rest. This bit, I don't like. Now I'm signing off. Thank you guys for putting up with my rant and my new explanation. And I'll see you next week for Windcraft. Bye bye